All right, guys. Well, we are um, pretty much across the country. We drove 21 hours. It took us 21 hours because we hit this huge ice storm in Dallas, but it should have only taken us like 18 hours plus stops. So 21 hours isn't too bad, but we got in at 4 a.m., came to Valdosta, Georgia to watch uh, Lights Out. So I don't even know if I said this in a recent video or anything, but Kennedy actually bought me tickets in January, but the problem is the airport's pretty far from the track and flights out of Amarillo are never cheap because it's such a small airport. So we decided to drive. So we got in last night, literally 4 a.m. I drove straight through and we just woke up. It's like, it was at like 10 o'clock. And so now we're getting ready. We're gonna head over to the track. We're gonna catch some qualifying and uh, show you guys some of the cars. I'm probably not gonna film a ton because I really, this is like my vacation. So I kind of want to just like enjoy some of the cars and some of the racing without having to feel like I got to film everything. So we're just going to film a little bit. Take you guys along for the ride. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so shout out Kennedy for the tickets for my birthday. And look who we brought. We brought me to Revy. And we actually got Revy a friend, but he's not here. So we'll show you guys maybe uh, later on. He's Revy's <laughs> twin. He looks just like her, but a boy. Revy. And his name is Bane. And Don't I'm give saying, it all away. I miss my baby boy. <laughs> but yeah, so she got a friend. So why don't you show you guys to him later? But anyways, see you at the track. Start eliminations round one. Round one. Fight. Fight. Oh, damn, people are here. It's insane. We just, you know, for publicity reasons, like we went to the shopping, I couldn't get the team going past the last few seconds. We were going to have a
Alright guys, so, got back from Georgia, it was so sick, it was, I don't know, it was just a whole nother level, I wish I could explain to you guys what it's like, but, you really just need to go check it out for yourself, it's, the cars, the rigs, the people, I mean, it's just a whole nother level, super cool, shout out to Kennedy for, uh, getting me those tickets for my birthday, it was an awesome time, and, uh, we love road tripping, I mean, when you get back, you're tired, like, we literally got back, like, an hour ago, and I'm already, headed to Joe's but that stuff freaking wears on you so it was an 18 hour drive there it ended up taking like 21 hours with the ice storm in Dallas and then it was about 18 and a half hours back like 19 hours with stops um, but on the way back we actually stopped halfway so it wasn't as bad but we're just kind of wore out but we got like I think 15 days till TX2K we don't have an engine and I'm running parts over to Joe's right now so we can get started on some stuff so um, update on the engine, it shipped last week, all good. Um, but for some reason on Thursday, it got stuck in Arizona and didn't get picked up by the next uh, person that was picking up the load. So since Thursday, I, because I thought the engine was gonna be here while I was gone, that's what it looked like. And then I look at the tracking today and it shows it's still in Arizona. So I called the people this morning and they said, yeah, it's still here, they haven't picked it up. So the engine's been stuck since Thursday in Arizona. Um, and I just checked, it's 3 o'clock, and they actually picked up the engine. So it's on its way to Dallas, has to go, to, I don't know why it goes to Dallas first. Dallas is past Amarillo, makes no damn sense. But supposedly it goes to the Dallas hub, and then it comes to Amarillo. So it honestly won't be here till probably Friday. So that puts us in a really bad spot. We're only going to have like 10 days left. So essentially what we're trying to do is get everything that we can done now. Um... But we need the engine for a lot of things. So there's that. Um, I'll kind of go over like the list that we have, but I brought essentially the transmission, the converter, uh, a couple of fittings and stuff. And then I brought the front polished wheels, which I'm really excited to show you guys what those look like. Uh, Cause yeah, polished on that color, I think is gonna look sick. So uh, Joe probably didn't get anything done all weekend. Joe's had the car. He was supposed to do some stuff. He probably spent all weekend cleaning it because you know, when cars come out of paint, they're they're pretty dusty, you know, like, they clean them pretty good, but dust gets, you know, stuck in crevices and corners from all the sanding and stuff. It's just part of the process. So I'm sure Joe, how OCD he is, it probably drove him nuts. So he was probably vacuuming and cleaning and blowing out and doing all sorts of stuff because he won't work on something if it's dirty. So we're going to go check out the car. It's probably super clean and probably nothing's been done, but that's okay because it's not like we only have 15 days left. Ah! Why does this always happen? Okay, I'll see you guys in just. 